Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Redstock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Robots in Disguise Mover. This is a recolor of G1 Blastoff. This is from the Combaticons. I have to think about that for a second. So there you go. Here's a package. So it's not bad. Not bad looking. So there you go. Of course it forms ruination. And of course, there's a story if you want to really want to read about it. 2001, Megacon, Predacon, blah, blah, blah. So there you go. Let's take him out of the package. Alright, so he does come with this weird gun. Man. And he's two blasters in the back here. I wish they would have given him a different color because it just melds in the background. It's basically the same color as the little figure and I'm really not a big fan of it they just uh, peg into the exhaust ports right here and this gun doesn't really attach anywhere so you have this floating around which I'm not a big fan of and well let's see it rolls just fine so it looks okay I, I like the paint apps a little bit I wish it would have had more color something molding it's just so plain again uh, has a Decepticon symbol on each of the wings, so it's not bad looking. So, yeah, 6 out of 10 on this mode. I wish I had more colors. It would have been more vibrant and pops. But it conceals the robot extras really well. So I'll give it that much. So, we're just going to transform it. It's just pop out the legs. Arms just split open. And you have to rotate this. And again, they're on ball joints. And yeah, I'm really not a big fan of the arms moving like that. So yeah, and put one of the uh, weapons there. So no fists, and really that's lazy programming. But what can you do? So we're gonna also take these pods right here. Yeah, you know, like I said, very nondescript, very generic looking figure, and it just pops forward like that. Yeah. Not much, very, even the paint, the face is just ugly. Ball jointed uh, shoulders over here, so you got limited articulation. And I don't like how these little flaps over here from the wings don't get out of the way. So, very lazily done, even if the wheels are, uh, yeah, if you want you can put the little tail fin, or the, sorry, vertical stabilizer down. There you go. Very nondescript, ugly. Ah, wish I can. I wish I can. I don't. I, I don't have any good words for this thing at all. So four out of ten for that mode. Here it is. Size comparison. Bumblebee looking good. Actually, it's Goldbug. Keep calling him Bumblebee. And GI Joe. So size comparison. There you go. About three inches tall. And of course, they're little. Deluxe figure so you can see how totally tiny this thing is. Alright YouTubers, that's all I got. And i catch you all next time.